Hi you guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well today. I am sitting in my dining room, which I don't do that often, but it's also really dark out and I did not bring any of my lights down here. Um, so we're just kind of chilling today <laughs> on a rainy day. I have my like laptop here and my phone and I'm basically going to be going through like my screenshots folder slash my wishlist folder because so I what I kind of do my new process is if you're new here I have a couple of these videos already of like my wish lists or some like shop with me's for things that are on my wish list and things like that because I've started to kind of implement this process where I screenshot things and I keep them on a wish list for a while and then I kind of like over time if I still want the thing or I come across it on a pre-owned website or whatever and it's on my wish list and I get it for a good deal whatever the case is um and then I can check it on my wish list and it ends up in my closet a way for me to kind of combat impulse buying because I'm very very bad about um impulse buying but I, I this has really really helped me in general kind of wean through what I like and what things that like I think will stand the test of time like when I'm getting ready I kind of think of these things I'm like oh I wish I had this thing to go with this outfit and I do that enough times that kind of thing you know what I mean so this is just like a basic compilation of all the things that I've liked saw and screenshotted but also I want to preface that I do not plan on buying all these things um I they're just kind of there for me to look at think of uh, and then if I end up buying them, I end up buying them. So that's what we're doing today. Um, and also thank you to Aura for sponsoring this video. I've actually had a lot of problems lately with like online security and different things like that. So I'm really, really excited to partner up with Aura today. And also the fastest growing crime in America is actually identity theft. And there's a new victim every 14 seconds, which this just sounds so crazy, but it makes so much sense because I mean, I know for me, literally I've been using Aura for the past couple of months and I got an alert, like I want to say like a few weeks ago that said like my password was compromised from either like from my email or from um, Hulu, but Hulu popped up and I was like, that's weird. I guess I haven't even used Hulu in the past couple of weeks. So I kind of like brushed past it and moved on because I wasn't at home and I didn't want to worry about it. And then I kind of forgot about it. But a couple days later, I went to go try to watch Kardashians on Hulu and I couldn't get in. And I was like, uh oh, that's not good. And then I remembered that Aura gave me an alert a few days ago and I did nothing about it. And so I ended up having to basically deactivate my whole Hulu account, get a new one and all that kind of stuff. And so moral of the story is listen to Aura and don't be stupid like me. But anyway, if you have not heard of Aura yet, they're an identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. You might already have one or two of those services already kind of built through separate apps, but this one is all in one, which is very, very helpful. Aura actually monitors the dark web for your emails, passwords, and then social security numbers too. And then they quickly send you an email right to your phone and to your email. And then they also have real time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries, like if someone's opening a loan or a credit card in your name. Also, Aura's VPN lets you stay anonymous online by keeping your browsing history and your personal information safe and encrypted. You can go to aura.com slash cup of Jordy to protect yourself and your family from identity theft. And I'll link everything you need to know in the description. And actually, if you sign up with my link down below, Aura will give you a free two week trial. You can see for yourself how many times Aura finds you or your family members' personal information on the dark web. And if you do, up signing up and seeing anything weird or funky let me know down below you will not regret tracking that is one thing i can promise you um and thank you so much to aura for working with me on this okay the first thing we're jumping into is this specific scarf and it's an acme studios scarf it's in this like bright 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 blue um and i believe it's a wool scarf yeah and on, for some reason i have it pulled up here on net a porte and it's just so beautiful it's called the canada skinny fringed wool scarf and there's just something so nice looking about it. First of all, I've had, okay, funny story. I actually bought an app. Well, I thought I was buying an Acne Studio scarf last year and I bought it on, I bought it on Mercari and I got it. I did an unboxing on TikTok. I was like, I'm so excited. And then I did more research and I was like, it's a fake Acne Studio scarf. I still wear it and I don't care, but I did overpay for a fake one. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I thought it's like, oh my God, I'm getting such a good deal. Anyway, I love scarves. I live in Michigan. I live in scarves in the winter time. And this blue one, I've just been super into the past couple of years, or this like blue color, I mean. And this one just looks so nice. And I haven't really invested in a nice scarf. I thrift most of my scarves all the time. And so I'm kind of just keeping my eye on this one. I've just always had like an Acme Studio scarf on my list. And this is the one that I'm kind of like peeking at. It also comes in black. And I also just think it'll look so cute with all of my coats. Like every single coat I picture, I think would look so cute with that. Like I have my C New York coat and imagine that coat with this scarf. I think that would be such a cute combination. Uh, but yeah, also speaking of that C New York coat, this, ugh, I'm pretty sure I got it on eBay, but and the pattern on this jacket, I found on Free People, like a, a fleece zip up 
and I want this thing so bad, but I have not gotten it because I, I'm like, no, I'm gonna wait and see because I just, I don't know if I need two things with that similar pattern. And I also don't know how much I'd wear this because like, because in theory, I love wearing um, fleece jackets, but I just don't know how often I would. Um, but this one is so cute. It's called the Hit the Slopes Printed Fleece Jacket. They have a bunch of colors. I just love those colors together and the pattern. And again, it just really reminds me of the sea. York, doesn't it? Is that just me or does it? I feel like it does. Anyway, um, okay, next, directly from the screenshots is from, a, I think this is a new like person I follow on TikTok. That is at Danny X Alyssa, I think. She was wearing this like sweater vest and I fell in love with it. And so I went on a hunt trying to look for it and I found one on eBay, but it was in a medium and I was like, that's going to be too small. I have my eye looking out for this on um, eBay and at the thrift store. I want one so bad. I just think it's so gorgeous. It's this vintage, I don't even know the brand. I don't, oh, eight, some JH Collection. I think it says but it just looks so cute and it's so hard that's my it's so hard sometimes when I follow people who thrift so much of their clothes which I'm sure like you guys feel similarly about. you see a piece that you like it's so hard to find not just like finding like a retail website that sells it you know but I have faith that I'll find it I'm going to keep checking eBay Poshmark everything thankfully I found the um <laughs> the like name that helps too okay next I have a couple of pairs of like shoes because I love shoes and I have enough sneakers right now so none of these are sneakers I don't think but they are boots because I am in my boot era I thrifted I think I thrifted like two or three pairs of like knee-high boots and I have wide calves and it's really hard for me to find boots on like regular websites or just retail websites that because they'll say they're wide calf or when I google wide calf it's like they come up and then I look at the dimensions I'm like that's not wide calf you know what I mean and so I found this website though I'm pretty sure they're Australian I want to say called duoboots.com their boots are super cute and you can get them basically like like custom calf widths like if I click on one here let me find it um, see like this is the website here I'm gonna record my screen you see they have such cute boots and I really like the Verity Knee high boots yeah um but i like the tall version because if you click on them they are so cute they go up to like right up before your knee and i'm waiting on these is because i have a similar pair that i thrifted that i've been wearing recently um except for these are kind of just like your basic riding boots but they also have this other pair of boots where are they here i think they're these um i really like these oakford ones but i don't think i would get enough wear out of them i also really love these marvel knee-high boots in black that have like the lace-up fronts i think those are just so cute i personally love lace-up boots i don't see a lot of them being styled but um i do love them and then i also really like these saffron knee-high boots in suede i feel like i don't have a pair all of my cowboy boots kind of hit me like halfway in the calf and these are i would say like a mix of like a cowboy and riding boot they're definitely more western style um but i just really like them and so i also just wanted to make you guys aware of this website if you have not heard of them i know a lot of people have but this whole quiz and then it'll give you like your recommended size and width and everything like that and so i think it's super cool this looks so spooky. Anyway, um, the next are these The Row Zipped Boots. And a lot of the things that I have on my wish list are designer or luxury items. However, what I usually end up getting is a dupe of them or like a similar item that I thrift of them. So again, this wish list is kind of just like a dream wish list, an idea board, if you will, and where I kind of find similar items or dupes to these things because like, for instance, these the row zipped boots, as much as I would love to drop $1,500 on them, um, I will not. First of all, but anyway, they have like this zipper top. They kind of remind me of like 2014. Like I had these, oh my God, what are those by? I used to want this pair of boots so bad in my Tumblr days. I literally found them. The Balenciaga Sienter cutout leather ankle boots. I, first of all, I did not know those were Balenciaga. I mean, back in like 2012 or like back in high school, I did not know what Balenciaga was, but Balenciaga. Do you know how fucking bad I wanted these? And anyway, anyway, I have found actually a dupe for them on ASOS. They have a ton of dupes. I know for sure I don't love like the ASOS design, like the ASOS brand shoes always. And so if I can find, like I see these raid ones, but they don't, 
I don't know if I love the like, I don't know. They just don't look exactly like it, which that's okay. They give the same vibe. These are cute too. Just a black boot like this that have like the zipper front and they're chunky um, because I do have like a pair of lug boots that are black and they're slip on and I love those still. They're from Zara. I've had them for the last like three or four years and they're my like go-to black boots in the fall and winter, but um, I'm just looking for like a little update with the zip on them. Okay, next in my screenshots, I'm just looking through really quickly for a white cable knit sweater that's super, super chunky chunky and uh specifically like i have a couple in my screenshots that I found on essence like this essentials one i think is so good and also that i don't know where i found this screenshot but this specific screenshot i really 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 like um and then also just in general fun sweaters like for instance i saw someone post this horse sweater she posted a tiktok on it is this not gorgeous I believe it was from Anthropology. I can't remember correctly because I'm pretty sure it is because I remember looking it up and I that I only could find like a brand new one from Maeve. Okay, these are kind of random, but kind of go with fashion. You see it. Um, <laughs> me trying to justify putting this in here. But anyway, I'm looking for a new phone case and I found this one brand, UrbanSophistication.com and they have so many cute cases. Pink puffer case, which I think is really cute. And then also this blue kind of like puffy case. Um, I really like those. And if you are also looking for a phone case, I think those are super cute. Okay, next is a hat, which uh, the, another one big reason I haven't purchased it yet is because I don't know how like much use I would get out of it in winter and fall, but I feel like I still could, but I just don't know for sure. Um, I think it's more of like a spring summer hat, but it's this, it's just a general like brand of hat and it's Lorna Murray and ugh, her hats are so gorgeous. And I actually have this screenshot. It says Friday at 4.41 a.m. because I was up all night that night. I was on the real reel looking for these hats. That night I went to see Don't Worry Darling and one of the people in the movie was wearing a Lorna Murray hat. And I was like, is that a sign? But anyway, look at these. I'm pretty sure they're expandable on the top. Also, I feel like that would be cute in the fall though with like a blazer or like a trench coat. I think that could be cute. I Okay, also going back to eBay, a recent eBay purchase. This was on my wish list for months and months and months and months and months. And I finally found one and I'm just so excited. You guys have probably seen it all over my Instagram lately, but it's this Prada um, nylon crossbody bag and it's so gorgeous. It's so perfect. It's beautiful. And I've had it again on my wish list for so long. I got it for like a steal in my opinion. I wanted a pink bag so bad and I'm so glad that I got to check this off of my list recently. Um, but yeah, that ordered it on the 5th of September and it came on the 13th of September. So that's pretty good from Japan in my opinion. Okay. So a couple things of jewelry that I'm kind of eyeing right now are these earrings. They're, I'm pretty sure they're handmade from this small business, um, arielkellogg.com. And she does these like pearl earrings um, and they're just so cool and kind of like, they're just unique in my opinion. And I've never seen anything like it. It's missing her drops every time I see it, everything's sold out and I'm so sad about it. That and then also like, I'm thinking like of a thin and long broke um, or like freshwater pearl necklace or something. Um, like, you know, like the organic looking pearls. White dresses. White dress is still on my radar, like uh, ivory maybe off white dress or something. I found this one from H&M, which I think is super cute. I think it's like a satiny material and I think it's gorgeous. I don't know. I'm just looking at it. I've had it in my screenshots for a while. I'm essentially just a plain looking dress that looks like this because I feel like it'll be such a great layering piece that I can like put a vest on, put a jacket on, wear boots on under, or but also in like the summer and spring, you know, wear it with sandals and stuff. Also found this ASOS one and it's, it says the sweatshirt dress, which I think is so cool. Cool. and it kind of gives that same feel and I think it's super cute so something of this sort next is a sweater vest I am still looking for sweater vests that don't have a v-neck and anthropology that had like little bows here um and it was white and it just looked super cute and so something like that would even be cool also have one on Cezanne it's in my wish list on the Cezanne website and it, it's just like a simple white one, but it's so comfy. It looks so like cozy. So that one would also be a great option. And also speaking of Cezanne, I have this one. I think it's called the Bethany or Bethany. I don't know. Um, cardigan and it's been sold out since it launched on their website. They have like uh extra small small and medium i wanted to say whenever i looked at it last i love the collar on it i also love how they styled it with the small little shorts like that i feel like with like a pair of like um bloomers will look so cute and like ballet flats or just also literally with anything jeans skirt anything and then lastly i have a couple of jackets a dark wash denim jacket 
is something I'm still looking for. I almost purchased one on eBay that was just like a basic Levi's denim jacket, but I haven't grabbed it. Um, but something like that, uh, I just want like, cause I have a light wash one. I found myself being like, I wish I had this, especially when I'm wearing like dark wash jeans or like black jeans or like pants or skirts or anything. I just love the look of like a dark wash denim with that. Uh, another jacket is a short, quilted jacket. Another one of my all-time favorite companies, Teddy Fresh, came out with this um, reversible quilted jacket and they have two different colors and I'm so close to ordering it, but they just came out. So I'm like, I'm in the place where it's like, I don't want it to sell out, but I also want to think about my purchase, you know? I love a little Teddy on them and I love Teddy Fresh's quality so much. And if you guys have not checked them out yet, I do highly recommend because such cool designs. Jared also loves them. And then lastly, I have these pants. So I've been talking about, I've been really looking for a pair of like pink, silk, or satin loungy kind of pants. And I just, I'm looking so badly. I, I'm again trying to thrift them and I have not had any luck. Um, but I think some, at some point I'll find something like that in the pajama section. But I found these Jacquemus ones on uh, Essence. And essentially this is exactly what I'm looking for. Something like that. I just think they'd be so cute with like a bunch of different things. Um, and I don't have like a lot of, I don't think I have any pink pants and I've been really into pink lately. And so those are, I just, I just think they're so dreamy. I don't know. But anyway, that is it. It is so freaking dark. I cannot even believe it. Um, and so sorry. Hopefully you're okay with that for these kinds of videos because they're more chill anyway. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know if you have anything on your wish list um, and your opinions on some of the things on mine. Thank you so much to Aura again for sponsoring. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Love you. Bye.